Hey guys, what's up? It's Rygar the Destroyer, and today we're going to be looking at uh, Commander Fox from the Clone Wars. This figure is pretty cool, uh, but before we take a closer look at him, let's take a look at the packaging. Like all of the other uh, later series Clone Wars figures, he came on this card with Darth Maul up here in the corner. I've already mentioned before that I don't like these cards, uh, mainly because it doesn't show the figure here on the back, uh, so I won't go into it. Uh, here is a picture of the figure, and here he is in the Clone Wars. There's a brief description there if you'd like to read that, you can pause the video. And down here at the bottom it shows the other figures in the wave. So let's get back to the figure, which is the important part. He stands about four inches tall, so he's right in scale with all of the other figures. And he comes with an okay selection of uh, accessories. The first one uh, is his blaster pistol here. As you can see, it fits in uh, this hand very well. The other hand's a little bit bigger to hold one of his other accessories, so it doesn't hold the pistol very well. But as you can see, they do fit in his holster. His other accessory uh, is this. It's the... Uh, I don't know, it's like a rocket launcher, and it does fire a small plastic missile that stuck to my backdrop. Wow, that's crazy. Put that down there. And he also came with this. It's the uh, kind of tan version of that uh, base that they handed out throughout the Clone Wars. He also came with one of these galactic battle game dice, of course. And he came with this Galactic Battle Game card. Uh, another thing that I usually pick off the package of these later series figures is this. It's uh, a picture of the character printed on a nice piece of uh, plastic. And these make really nice bookmarks. Uh, so, you know, if you, if you open up your figures, uh, I suggest saving these uh, because they're kind of nice. Uh, but back to the figure. He's painted, you know, okay, I guess. Uh, they did paint white over red molded plastic. And for anyone who's ever painted before, uh, you know, they know that that's really hard to uh, cover pretty much any color with white, especially darker colors like red. But they did a pretty good job with it. And, you know, throughout the figure, it stays pretty consistent. Uh, he's got horrible articulation. Uh, the first piece here is at the head he's got a ball joint, and that works well. He's got ball hinge shoulders that do swivel, and those work well. He's got a hinged elbow. This one actually swivels, unlike uh, Commander Wolf, so that's nice that they included that. He has no articulation in his... Oh, nope, this guy doesn't. For a second there, I thought his hand was turning. That's crazy. Okay, so uh, he has no articulation here at the wrist. He's got a swivel waist, swivel hips that are kind of uh, hindered by the uh, cape here, but that's fine, I guess, and nothing else. So, you know, for a, a figure that originally cost around $10 uh, American dollars, uh, you know, this is really disappointing. Uh, just a, a serious letdown, I think, uh, because they started to cheap out on these figures like this. That's why the Clone Wars series died. I think people were tired of Hasbro cheaping out. So, unless you really like Commander Fox, uh, this guy is definitely a pass. Uh, but uh, tell me what you think about this guy in the comments below, and uh, I'll see you later.